Okay, I'd like to discuss how to copy an array. Um, so in JavaScript here, I'm going to use this uh, Python Tutor website. You can visualize the execution of code, and you can choose a couple languages here. So even though it's called Python Tutor, you can run JavaScript here. Um, just some basic, basic JavaScript. Um, so the idea here is, let's say I've got an array. I'm just going to call it test, and we're going to call it one, two, three. Okay, that's my array. And the idea is I want to make a copy of this. So logically, the idea is I'm going to go let copy be assigned test. Right? Test is assigned this, so copy is going to be assigned test, and we're hoping that this is now a copy of it. So if I were to go, you know, hey, test at position 0 is assigned 20, and copy at position uh, 0 and 2 is assigned 30. Actually, let's make that 10. So the 1 becomes 10, and then the copy position 2 should become 30. Like, I should be changing different arrays, right? Um, and let's, let's visualize this and see what's actually happening. Okay, so we can run through the code line by line. So test is assigned 1, 2, 3. Okay, that's cool. That's what I expected. And now here's where we do the copy part. Pay close attention. Here we go. Oh, no. Okay, so... There, there's still only one array. How come copy isn't a new copy of the array? It's still it's pointing to the same same data. So when I change test, well that's ten, and and copy is now pointing to the thing that has ten. And when I change copy, oh no, the test array has changed, right? So obviously this didn't make a very good copy because we access each variable and they're both accessing the same memory over here. Okay, so that's a problem. So What's happening here is when we create an array like this, um, JavaScript creates some memory to store the data in the array, and the variable is actually a pointer. And then, like this is kind of cool how it has this, right? It's a pointer to that memory. It's actually a memory address. It's saying, hey, where does this array live? Right? So think of this as a pointer or an address of where the array is, where the data is, and then we can access using position 0, 1, 2, the specific memory slot that we need. All right, so when I do copy is assigned test, what I'm actually making a copy of is the memory address, right? Test is a pointer to here. Well, copy is a copy of test. It also points to there. Okay, so now that we understand what this assignment does, right, that we're copying the, the pointer, the memory address, how can we not do that? How can we do something different? And the way that we can do that is um, one of the built-in array methods that come in JavaScript is a slice method. So dot slice, like so. And the way this slice method works is you can actually, uh, let's add some more things here. Um, you can give it a start and a stop. So 0 to 3. So I want to make a copy of test. I want to get a slice of test starting at position 0 and going up to position 3. So 0, 1, 2, 3. So it would give me 1, 2, 3. And when we do slice, it takes a slice of the array and it makes new memory, right? It makes a new array out of that slice. So let's, let's try that. So now test is this. And now we're going to assign copy to be that slice. Hey, see? And now we get and it's some, actually some new memory. So when we try to edit things, we're editing the different memory. Okay, awesome. And now, so we can control the start and the stop, but if we just leave it blank, um, I'm pretty sure the default is when you leave it blank that it makes a copy of the entire thing, right? It'll go from the beginning to the end. So there's test, and now our copy is going to be a slice of test, and it copied the entire thing. All right, that's our solution for how to, how to copy something. Because this is a, a really hard error to find when you're writing your code and you're like, you think you've made a copy and you're like, what's going on? How come when I change this, this changes? Uh, so yeah, doing this dot slice will make a, a, a new set of memory for our copy of that memory and that data. All right, that is how to copy an array test dot slice. All right, hope that made sense. Take care and we'll see you in the next video.